Hey everyone, we're gonna get started in just a second. We, we still have one student having issues. Um, Good evening and welcome to the 53rd commencement ceremony of the Henry Viscardi School. We will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Amici Jana. Amici Jana will lead us in the pledge. I said that. I pledge allegiance. You might be having a I little technical difficulty, but I'll, 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 I'll begin us in the pledge and then we'll, we'll move we'll on from there. For which it stands, I pledge allegiance. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God, indivisible, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you, everybody. All right. On behalf of the school administration, board of trustees, faculty, related service providers, and staff, I am delighted to welcome you to this celebration of the class of 2020. I would like to take a moment to introduce this evening's special guests and participants. Good evening. Our guest speaker is Ms. Carmen Daniels-Jones, who is president and CEO of Solutions Marketing Group. Mr. John D. Kemp, CEO and president of the Viscardi Center and Henry Viscardi School. Mr. Angelo Zagarelli, Head of School, Miss Jessica Caggiano, Assistant Head of School, and I am Jeanette Glover, Clinical Support Services and Admissions Coordinator. Most of all, we welcome and celebrate our senior class. We are very proud of all of your accomplishments and the hard work you have put forth leading to this special day. Best wishes in all you do as you have a bright future ahead of you. Congratulations. Okay, thank you, Jeanette. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this year's virtual Henry Viscardi School commencement. 
Graduates, while we know this is not the graduation you, your families, or any of us anticipated, today marks an extraordinary accomplishment for each of you, and it should be recognized. As we've discussed, we will also have an in-person ceremony once it's, safely, once it's safe to return to the building. As Ms. Glover stated, I would like to thank John D. Kent, the President and CEO of the Viscardi Center, Beth Daly, Chairperson of the Henry Viscardi School, Carmen Daniel Jones, founder of Solutions Marketing, for, for being with us today. Jessica Caggiano, the assistant head of school, uh, and Jeanette Glover, the clinical support services and admissions coordinator. I'd like to thank all of our Viscardi board members and executives for joining us tonight uh, for this proud moment. Before addressing the class of 2020, I would like to thank the school's faculty and staff who have gone above and beyond the past few months and embraced new and creative ways to deliver the curriculum and related services to our students who are graduating today and in the years to come. Your dedication through these challenging times came shining through, and I'm deeply appreciative of all of your hard work. Parents, we thank you for being active in your child's learning in more ways than ever before this school year. You should be proud of your accomplishments, your sons and daughters have achieved, and take pride in the role you have played in getting them here today. We thank you for your support. Thank you. Graduate, um, it has been my pleasure to watch you grow and mature into bright, confident young adults. While this pandemic has thrown you some curveballs, you have also learned from them. You are no doubt stronger, more resilient, and have the strength in your ability to work independently, which will prove to be valuable as you move on to college, the workforce, community-based programs, and adult life. More importantly, you, like all of us, have a new appreciation for the simpler things in life and that we all sometimes take for granted. Congratulations, join the alumni group and keep in touch and we'll see you in the coming months back at Viscardi. Now we turn our attention to an academic tradition which was instituted long ago that we carry on today. That's the practice of acknowledgement of, the, of academic excellence. In, this spirit, in that spirit, it is our tradition to have a leading scholar who is leaving the Henry Viscardi School offer words of appreciation to those who have made his or her learning possible and verbally salute them for their noble work. Tonight, we have a senior ranking academically high in her class and attending Suffolk Community College in the fall to study liberal arts. I am honored to present Lily Murphy to offer the salutatory address. Good evening, friends and family. Mr. Kemp, Ms. Daly, Mr. Zigarelli, Mrs. Caggiano, Mrs. Glover, Mrs. Daniel Jones, faculty, staff, and guests. Welcome to the 2020 Henry Viscardi graduation. Most people look forward to this day, even with the unexpected circumstances. Most high schoolers can't wait to graduate, to run outside the, of the doors and never look back. Well, I am not part of that group of people because for the past 13 years of my life, you have all been an extension of my family. You have been there for everything, and most of you have seen almost every awkward stage in my life. We've been together through the good, bad, and awkward, including me cracking an egg in my lap while attempting to make a cake yeah. and stinking up the hallway while dissecting a squid. From these experiences, I have become and grown into the best version of myself so far. From the time spent making memories in the pool as a little girl, to the life discussions Sorry. with friends and teachers as a young adult, it has all had an impact. What? I believe every student can gain a lot more than just an education from HVS. Mm. If they allow themselves, you you can learn how to deal with all of the success, all of the successes and hardships in life, no matter how big or small. At HBS, regardless of whether you are a teacher, nurse, therapist, or fall into any other category of the well, generous people in this building. It is also in the tradition have to have the leading students. academic student of the class offer I am official words of farewell. I now have the honor of presenting people. the student with the highest academic record in the class. A once said, you know you love a place when all you want to do is stay instead of go. 
Sorry, I was on mute. It is also my tradition Not to have the leading academic student of the class go for the official words of farewell. It is difficult to describe how much these people and this place mean to me. Some people spend their entire lives looking for a place to go home where they feel accepted and surrounded by love. I don't have to. All of the hardships of my life have brought me closer to this place, which means so much to me. All that I can say is, I'm glad I found my diamond in the rough. Because who would we all be if we didn't have a little crazy in our lives? Speaking of a little bit crazy, I have made long lasting friendships, found many people to look up to, and people that have taught me the tough lessons of life. Thank you to Rehana for putting up with me for so long. Jack for teaching me the value of patience. <laughs> and Amici for the incredible advice you have given me over the years, as well as the rest of the class of 2020. For all your support and helping me build confidence in myself. I thank you all for your brutal honesty and lessons you have taught me, especially when I didn't want to hear any of it. Ms. Feldman, thank you for the bulletin board chat. Thank you to Ms. R for the positive for the positive impact you have had in my life. You are truly a remarkable human being. To Ms. Graveo, thanks to you, I will never forget what cultural diffusion means and the amazing memories you have had, we have made in your class together. Lastly, a huge thank you to all the teachers and staff that have helped me during my education at the Shrine. I've learned from the best and I hope to make you all proud. I know that this is not what we envisioned at the start of the year. However, through all of the crazy events that have happened, I've learned one imperative thing among others, that Viscardi is like glue. It always sticks with you, even when you try and clean it off. And that is what I'm most grateful for. Although I am deeply saddened to leave, I know that Viscardi will keep changing lives just like they did mine. It is a privilege to be a part of such a magical place, a place that I consider to be heaven on earth. Thank you all for everything. It is also evening, our friends. tradition to have the leading academic student of the class offer official words of farewell. I now have the honor of presenting the student with the highest academic record in the class. She will be attending Adelphi University studying computer programming in the fall. Please welcome the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Rehana El Jahari. Good evening, friends and family. Mr. Ken, Ms. Daniels Jones, Ms. Dilly, Mr. Zegarelli, Mrs. Caggiano, Mrs. Glover, faculty, staff, and guests, welcome to the 2020 Henry Viscardi graduation. First, I would like to recognize the achievements of my senior classmates. You all went above and beyond, and I cannot wait to see where We're your individual will take you. Together, we have had an interesting journey throughout HVS, some of us together since kindergarten and others we picked up along the way. We have been through a lot together, from learning how to cope with the growing pressures of life to learning how to cope with losing loved ones. We learned to handle our problems as a team, even when our friends didn't want us to butt in. However, we do it because we know that life is hard when you are battling it alone. And at Viscardi, you are never alone. This graduation may not be the way we all envisioned it, but like everything else, we do it together with the friends that have become our family. We are all as unique as pieces of a puzzle and together we make something beautiful. As Stephen Hawking once said, we are all different. 
There is no such thing as a stranger in one of the male human beings, but we share the same human spirit. We are all different, but together we create a beautiful and breathtaking masterpiece. In coming together we have often helped push one another toward personal growth. For example, many of you know me as a confident woman that speaks her mind no matter what. However, when I first entered Viscardi I was the type of person who took a backseat. Yes, despite what you might imagine there was a short time when I was a quiet, and dare I say, shy little girl. As time passed a crazy little hurricane named Lily Murphy started pushing her way into my boring life, and made it anything but boring. She pushed me from my comfort zone and helped me to build the confidence you see today. Over 12 years together we have pushed and pulled each other to be the best versions of ourselves. Our friendship will surely be tested by the events of the future, but has been forged out of strong enough material to last. The material that the Henry Viscardi School helped us to cultivate. As I grew older more pieces began adding themselves to the puzzle and soon, I had an unbreakable um, chain of friends comprised of the graduating class you see here. I know that we didn't all find each other right away, and that we clearly don't always all get along, but our friendship is a genuine connection that will allow us to face whatever obstacles we may come across. You see what Lily Murphy first taught to me, and then the rest of you cemented into my is that we need other pieces around us to make up the puzzle, locked together to see the complete picture. We cannot live our lives alone, as independent and strong as we all are. There is no weakness in allowing our friends to help hold us up. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being your unique selves, being part of my story, and allowing me to be part of yours. Along with a basket filled with lifelong friends, the Henry Viscardi School has also blessed me with my own personal yeah. group in the form of the Viscardi faculty. All that I can say about hey, you lovely people is that you are the most wonderful and the most stubborn people that I have ever met. From the teachers and assistants that helped raise me in elementary school such as Miss Dinner, Mr. Andrew, Mrs. Morovich, Miss Christina, Miss Barbara and Miss Lori, to the therapists and nurses that have always been there for me for my the teachers and staff I met later on in high school who got to know me as the strong, stubborn person I am today. Dr. Galen, Ms. Rosenblatt, Ms. Piccola, Ms. Bischoff, Ms. Cottrell, Ms. Graffia, and Ms. Susan Bunian. Even though you all met me at different points of my life, you all have seen the strong and intelligent woman that I am even though I didn't see it in myself. You all made me see the true Rehanna Ilharji. Speaking of the real Rehanna Ilharji, the first people who saw this light inside of me were my mom and my dad. I was talking to my mother recently and I asked her how did you find the strength to raise a daughter with my specific challenges? She replied, I only knew that I wanted my daughter to live the best life possible. She indeed gave me the best childhood possible, not in the material sense but in the broad and more important meaning of what a child's life should be, with or without disabilities. When I was born, the doctors defined me. They told my family that I would not grow in intelligence. I would be deceased in a matter of years, and that I would certainly not be valedictorian of my high school class. Despite this, my family, and specifically my mother, never let me feel anything but wanted, loved, and capable. Like many of my fellow graduates from a young age, I had to learn how to not let people's stares and looks impact me. I had to learn to live in a world that wasn't built for me, and a society that wasn't used to people like me. Viscardi gave me a place to be myself and grow without those looks. A place that treated me as capable and wanted. So, my Viscardi was an important so, factor in my growth. Good. How you, you been, boy? How you been? You I've gave been me good, a chance dude. to become who I really was inside. To my fellow graduates and the attendees of this event, right, I want to thank you all for the ride of a lifetime. Now let's make a promise for the future that we will always draw outside the lines and celebrate our originality.
our originalities begin with our beautiful personalities and end with our individual possibilities Yo. for the future. Yo, so let's change the world Yo. by being ourselves What's up, bro? What up, man? You been? You been blind? Good. How you, how you doing, Delasi? I'm good. Hey, now. Mr. Kemp will now introduce our commencement speaker. And students, if we just keep muted, uh, we can hear you and they can hear you when, we, when we're doing this. So Mr. Kemp, now to introduce the commencement speaker. Thank you. Um, Angelo and to Jessica and to Jeanette and to our board chair, Beth Daly, um, welcome. And I must say to Rayana and to Lily, you give us inspiring words and we're grateful for your, your thoughts and your good wishes for our graduates and your classmates. You know, I have to think about, we are Viscardi strong and we always will be. As people with disabilities, we are tenacious, we're resilient, we're expert problem solvers, and have learned to be patient in fulfilling our goals. These are attributes of our culture of disability, how we learn to live great lives with our disabilities, and too frequently how we have to overcome some barriers, right? Your accomplishments of preparing yourselves for this great is testament to your own personal commitment to achieving a major life goal. And with this rite of passage, you'll look higher, set new and even more challenging personal goals, and you'll begin thinking through, how am I going to accomplish these next goals? Because it was just a few years ago, maybe four or five, six years ago, that you thought about, I'm gonna graduate from the Henry Viscardi School how am I going to do that? What's it going to take? It's a challenge that you have now succeeded and very, very well done. Congratulations to you. And to the parents and family members of graduates, congratulations to you as well. This is a special day for you, just as it was for my dad when I graduated from high school. I'm sure he wondered if I'd ever graduate from high school. And I was very pleased that he was joyous in that moment. Well, there's no instruction book for how to raise a child with a disability. The Henry Viscardi School has provided you with some confidence, love and care for your child and for you, and, and let you realize that you are not alone. And sometimes you do feel you're the only person out there in the same situation but there are other parents who have the same desires and goals and wishes just like you. And today you're seeing a class of extraordinary students, the class of 2020, accomplish their goals. Finally, to our school faculty and related service staff, to our administrators, I know you're proud of these students. Some of you have watched these students from the, from the time they came in as kindergartners to the time they're today that they are graduating from the Henry Viscardi School. I am so honored and proud of you for the work that you do every day unselfishly to help these students and other students achieve to their greatest. Graduates, go out and do great things. Be Viscardi strong. You are well prepared to achieve whatever you want to do. And so now it's my privilege to introduce the commencement speaker and a very good friend of mine, Harmon Daniel Jones. Harmon is an entrepreneur. Harmon is a mother. Natalie is 16 years old. Marcus, her son, would have been a perfect student to have gone to the Henry Viscardi School. Harmon assists the Viscardi Center and Henry Viscardi School throughout the year by working for us as a consultant 
in helping our National Business and Disability Council grow and develop. And more importantly, she's been my friend for more than 20 years. She's an extraordinary role model, an outstanding national and international advocate, and I'm honored to present her to the class of 2020, your commencement speaker, Carmen Daniel Jones. Thank you so much, Mr. Kemp. And I wanna wish a welcome to the parents and to the staff of the Henry Viscardi School and to most importantly to the 2020 graduating class. You know, in preparation for today, I was thinking about my own high school graduation, which was a really long time ago. And I can't tell you who the speaker was or even what they shared. So I won't be insulted if you don't remember what I share with you today. But I do remember the excitement I had as I was the only African American student in my high school graduating class from a public high school not far from you in Ramsey, New Jersey. I do remember the joy and pride of my parents as my name was called to pick up my diploma. And I was looking forward to my graduation party like many of you all probably are a socially distant one, um, but nonetheless, a party to celebrate this great accomplishment. You know, I've been excited to speak with you all for almost a year and since I received the initial invitation. And while I'm not able to share physical space with you all, um, I, I am delighted and honored to be here. I hope to give you all fist bumps and hugs and, you know, give your parents high fives and maybe we'll be able to do that at another time. But let's focus on the most important thing this is your day. Now, COVID-19 doesn't stop the joy and the love and the achievement. So I want you all to feel very excited and proud about what you've done. The fact that you continued with your studies and pivoted quickly to digital learning says so much about the excellent support that you all received from Mr. Kemp and the rest of the Henry Viscardi School staff. Um, and you are part of a rich legacy that demonstrates to the world that people with disabilities can become educated and go on to post-secondary education and ultimately get to work. What you cannot see is that like you, I have a disability and I also use a wheelchair. When I became a paraplegic 33 years ago, um, I was a junior in college and I had no idea how I would finish school. I just knew that I had to get back to school. I did my best and I prayed that an employer, now this was before the Americans with Disabilities Act, and I prayed that an employer would give me a fair shot for a job. My very first interview was for an internship with JCPenney and the day of my interview, the elevator in the building where I was broke and I was a bit flustered. I had a classmate go upstairs and ask the recruiter to come down and they, they were a bit uncertain about why they needed to come downstairs. They weren't anticipating seeing someone in a wheelchair. And when they came down, we got through the interview and they asked me um, a lot of different questions about my qualifications and my skills. And then the recruiter said something really crazy. They asked me if I could wiggle my toes. And they were trying to determine with that, you know, what my prognosis was. And it was totally inappropriate and I was so naive. So y'all don't go answering questions, crazy questions like that. But I was so naive that nobody um, helped me to prepare for those interviews. And I know that at the Henry Viscardi School, you've had that preparation. So I, I made my way through the interview. I didn't get the job, but I had some lessons learned from that. Um, and I know that you all are more prepared than I ever was at that age. And while the world is upside down right now because of COVID and there's an eco economic uncertainty, there are some things that you can control that I've learned through my years as a college graduate, a mom and a business owner, and also a woman with a disability. So if you'll indulge me, I'll share a few of those things. The first thing is to learn. Now, I know you may be tired, like my teenager, she doesn't want to keep learning and learning, but learning is a lifelong pursuit. I encourage you to learn as much as you can and to stay curious and to develop something called a growth mindset. What do I mean by that? If there's a topic that interests you, don't wait for a teacher or your parent to get on your case. Google it. Watch a YouTube video. Read. Spend about 10 to 15 minutes a day learning about that topic until you get some confidence and some mastery. Before I meet with a client, 
I always spend time reading and researching and preparing. And as you begin college or even work, um, you'll see that this is an important muscle to begin to develop. So I encourage you really um, strongly to learn. The second thing is that you maintain a standard of excellence. And I know because I've been to the Henry Viscardi School a few times to the Viscardi Center, I know that there's a standard that you all have been a part of. Let's continue that. There are many perceptions that non-disabled people have of those of us with disabilities. They may feel sorry for us. They may be even uncomfortable. It's your job to find, to be so on top of your game with what you do in your studies and in your schoolwork that you dispel any barriers or misperceptions that they have of you. Um, if you need clarification on an assignment, ask. Don't be intimidated. If you need assistance, don't be afraid to ask for that. When I did work, and I'll, this is a total transparent moment, when I did work for Nike, um, they appreciated the fact that I had lived experience, but what they, what kept them as a client was the fact that I tried to operate in, at a standard of excellence that was equal to the Nike culture. What they don't know is that there was a project they assigned me and I had some technology problems and I was really stressed out and it was so, it made me so worried that it made me even cry. But I knew I had to deliver their online training program because they hired me to do that. And once I got myself together and enlisted some other people to help me, I was able to get through it. So there's no shame, you all, in asking people to help you just to continue to maintain that standard. The third thing I wanna share is to be yourself. There's no denying that having a disability can present some unique challenges. There are times you may want to minimize your disability to make other people feel comfortable or accepting. Don't do that. Be your complete self. I want to tell you about my friend Josh. Josh is a lawyer and he's also a quadriplegic who uses a motorized wheelchair. Before he became disabled, he loved to ski and swim and do a lot of extreme sport type of things. He hasn't let that stop him from being who God made him to be. And now he organizes adventures for other people in wheelchairs. With Josh's love for exploring new things, he just does it differently. And with his help, I've been sailing and I even tried indoor skydiving, which was a total epic fail because my shoe fell off, flew off in the midst of it. But I tried and I'm glad that I did it. So if you have that, that adventurous spirit, use it. If you have the ability to shine, use it. Be your total, total self. The fourth thing, and I know a lot of times people with disabilities hear this and it sounds kind of um, overly inspirational, but I want to share it. Do not give up. The fact that you've reached this graduation is an indication to the world that you didn't give up. As a person with a disability, you must become wired to not allow rejection or negativity take up space in your mind. You know, it's, it's natural to be disappointed and it's natural to have that, that uh, uh, feeling of maybe I should give in, but you wanna keep trying and you have to have a vision for your big, beautiful life ahead of you. You all realize, really don't realize you have the best years ahead of you. You're gonna hear no more than you hear yes. And now that I've told you that, just be prepared for that, but don't let that stop you from pursuing your dream. And don't talk yourself out of it. And then the last thing is to reach back and show someone the way. Living with a, dis living with a disability, like I said, can have challenges. And I must tell you the truth, as you know, um, as you become older and have more responsibilities, it can provide additional challenges to navigate adulting while also managing your disability. It's important that you have new experiences and find people who will provide um, advice or provide mentorship to you. When I lived in Washington, D.C., I met a dynamic man named John Kemp. I can't recall how we met, but I am really glad that we did. And he always made time for me and accepted my invitations to speak at events. And we shared a few meals together um, as well. By his example, he showed me the importance of being available for others. And Mr. Kemp has been nothing but encouraging, cheering for me along with my professional and personal life. 
He had absolutely nothing to gain by mentoring me, but he did. And I'm really thankful. So it's really, really important, y'all, as you, as you meet a people and as you become friends with them and you learn from them, that you remember what they've deposited in you so you can make yourself available to give back. So I'm going to close. Um, as you continue to develop and grow, open the door to someone else, as I said, and the world is watching and waiting for you. While nobody can predict the lingering effects of COVID, we cannot let that deter us from dreaming. And know that your family, the Henry Viscardi School faculty and leadership, and even me are cheering for you all this way, this whole way. You have what it takes. You all have been equipped. Your greatness is within you. I wish you the very, very best in your future and have an awesome, awesome um, upcoming fall. Thank you so much. Okay, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Carmen Jones. Uh, thank you for your words. Now is the time that I think we've all been waiting for. Uh, it's time to award those diplomas. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to read a statement, and then we will we will get to the to the to the main part of the show here to honor our seniors. By the powers vested in me, by the trustees of the Henry Viscardi School, the mandamus of the Board of Regents of New York, and the affirmation of the faculty. I herewith confer upon you a diploma in course of its officers, and I assign you all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining hereto, and I welcome you to the community of scholars. Okay, seniors, at this time, I will recognize you each by name. There will be a delay of about 15 or 20 seconds in between each one of you. Um, and first up will be Mohammed Assad Shaw. Jared Patrick Connolly. Michael Chayton. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Come on! <laughs> Rihanna El Jahari. Yay! Come on! <laughs> Isaiah Gray. Thank you. Thank you. Grace Marie Grubel. Good job, Grace. Oh, the David Hildreth. Thank you. 
Lillian Ruth Murphy. Hey, Lillian. Yeah, Lillian. Woo! Hey. Papa. Hey, you hey, hey. Yeah. Maya Rose. Congratulations. Congratulations. Connor Steven Rubble. Let's go, Maria Sahadeo. Yeah, how are you? Hey, hey. <laughs> Ryan R. Tineo. Hey, Great job! So proud of you! Yeah, I'm so proud. Ryan R. Tineo. Rodrikia Watson.
great job, everybody. It's been an amazing journey with all of you. We will now share some special moments from last week's surprise senior drive-bys organized by some HVS staff and our senior advisors. Cannot thank them enough for organizing that. Uh, our presentation will be followed by closing remarks from our assistant head of school, uh, Ms. Jessica Tagiana. We will now share some special moments from last week's surprise senior drive-bys organized by some HBS staff and our senior advisors. Can I thank yeah, you? Um, presentation will be followed by closing remarks from our assistant head of school, everybody, uh, Ms. Jessica Tagiana. We will now share some special moments from next week's surprise senior drive-bys organized by some HBS staff and our senior advisors. Can I thank you? Yeah, um, presentation will be followed by closing remarks Nothing much. I can't wait to have a great day. You're welcome. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Bless you, Calvin. Bless you, Calvin. Maybe you can just go here. Is that? 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 Good job. Good job.
Good evening, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, and the graduating class of 2020. Before we close the evening ceremonies, I would like to take this opportunity to say on behalf of myself, our president and CEO, Mr. Kemp, Will Administration, and our distinguished staff, congratulations, HBS class of 2020, on all of your achievements. A special thank you to all the individuals who have worked so hard and have been so creative to make sure the HBS class of 2020 received the recognition they deserved and to make their graduation a memorable and special event. Thank you to Carmen Daniels Jones, our guest commencement speaker, for your inspirational work. I also would like to, take, to thank all our students' families for all your support and all that you do, especially during these unprecedented times. If not for all of you, none of this would be possible. Joshua J. Marine once said, challenges are what make life interesting and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. As we close out what has been a school year unlike any other, we celebrate your resilience in overcoming the unprecedented and unique challenges the last few months have laid before you. The adaptation to challenges that have changed the landscape of the world have shown us that this graduation class graduating class can adapt to and overcome anything. Each and every one of you has done what no class before you has done, and you have done it successfully. While we cannot celebrate this momentous occasion traditionally, we can still celebrate together as we remain one community and one HVS family. Finally, before we close and watch the slideshow, I would like to share this quote with you from Sasha Azevedo. To believe in yourself and to follow your dreams, to have goals in life and a drive to succeed, and to surround yourself with the things and the people that make you happy, this is success. Congratulations, Henry Viscardi School Class of 2020. Thank you, Ms. Cassiano. Students, we will we will have this.